Okay, it's 300D, W123. Get uh, you know access to uh, the wiper assembly and actually take it apart and lubricate it. You know that was probably early 2000s. You know, um, you're supposed to do it um, periodically. Maybe I don't know, every 15 years, every 20 years. Uh, just so I will be sure that it's done. Uh, that's what I'm doing today. And that's why I'm doing this, getting uh, this thing done. I'll show you walking through the process of how to uh, get the wiper assembly. It's a little tricky in this car, but it's, it's not a big deal. You can do it. It's, it's not that bad. And actually, uh, this you know, also applies to the machines um, on the you know, public cars as well. Uh, this age, you know, make sure you access uh, your wiper assembly lubricated and you're good to go. Otherwise, if you don't do it, You get this job done, okay? Okay, so the best thing is to put the uh, lift the hood at the 90 degree angle, uh, just like that. So it's gonna be a lot more space for you to work uh, with, and don't pay attention to this. I'm actually I have this covered up right now because I'm repainting uh, uh, the air cleaner um cover so and anyway so as you can see right here i have uh some tape going here because this will give me a um an idea of how this should go back on how these wiper arms uh need to go back on and um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start removing these plastic covers okay uh they have one two three four clips all right and then they just uh, you just push them down carefully okay and then once you push them down you'll be able to lift this out and then you will retrieve uh those center pieces uh from your clips okay there's just four clips right here it's pretty simple and same on the other side start pushing the clips in carefully what I recommend the best is the flathead screwdriver for that and uh, some rag or something so you don't damage those clips completely but the way it would go is you would go like this in there and then you would just push it down after you push the center clips in, you're gonna grab a flathead screwdriver and carefully pry up on these uh, pieces right here. You need to take them out. Like that. That's how they look like, okay? After four clips are out, carefully lift this off like so okay put it aside and now you can retrieve your clips the center pieces it's right here this one this one and then there should be four of them so find them and put them in a safe spot okay we removed the passenger side plastic cover now we're gonna go to this side but as you can see um, you know it's pretty much all the same we have four clips but uh this wiper arm is in the way so we're gonna go ahead and remove these two wipers wiper arms right now all right so for this i'm gonna lift the arm and then lift this cover and then remove this 13 millimeter nut Now, now we have to lift it and then we have to wiggle this thing off carefully just like that okay easy day with this arm off we can remove these four clips the same way like on the other side 
Okay, all four clips are up, but right now we have this plastic cover. Uh, so we have to carefully remove it. Uh, and they can be brittle, so be careful, okay? Just gotta, this usually just pulls up and you just have to carefully uh, wiggle it out. After that, take it out. So the other arm is off. As you can see, we are dealing with the same um, kind of like seal, plastic seal. But uh, what I'm gonna try to do, uh, it's really difficult to remove these seals. They usually break. Um, is there's a Phillips here and the same on the other side. And then there's there are four of these like grommets and also clips. So what you do is it's the same principle as with these but this you just uh, also there's in the middle there's like a pin in the middle you have to push it out and once you push the uh, pin through um, then this is going to be loose you can take it out so that's basically how you take this off once you do that this just kind of try to wiggle it out and stuff and see how it goes when you're pushing these clips the middle pieces out uh, just make sure uh, what I recommend doing is uh, uh, what I recommend is uh, buying some extra clips like these because you may not be able to find these middle pieces once you remove this cover but maybe you will so um, but I've had the cases where I had I wasn't able to find those pieces so I had to actually uh, get new ones or used ones and stuff but uh, yeah Mm, it's not that difficult actually, you know, just uh, requires patience with the job like this. Okay, so all the clips are out, everything is out. I already broke the seal. Uh, there is actually a seal underneath, so you just kind of lift it and just wiggle it. And as you can see, it's, it's loose right now, okay? But the only thing is I can't pull it out because of this, so I'm going to have to remove this. A plastic seal right there which really sucks uh, because uh, I have a feeling that I'm gonna break it so I also recommend for you to um, buy extra uh, clips these extra clips and also these two plastic seals for the wiper uh, assembly wiper arms well I would say I got lucky I used this rag and I used the pliers and I actually just went in here and I just wiggled it up and it came out so I'm really glad that this thing didn't break right here. okay that's how it looks and now this is another part that I forgot to mention as once you remove this there's this nut right here that I actually have to remove and then only then you will be able to take this thing out completely okay so remove that nut and then take the cover out okay very carefully don't scratch the surface if yours isn't rusted it will be easy to come off nut and there's another seal right there okay take that off so there's a washer and then there's another seal right here that I actually carefully peel off and if your seal stuck then just grab this and just carefully wiggle it up and that will actually move the seal up okay how she looks okay and there's another part that goes right here okay and there's that seal I was talking about it's like a foam seal all right so be careful with that and there's our motor right there okay it needs work needs lubrication so we're gonna be working on that Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna collect these metal pieces uh, if we can find all of them. But like I said, just grab extra ones from the dealership or something because uh, you probably won't be able to find all of them. But we'll see. Hopefully, I will be able to do that. If not, then I'll just uh, 
figure it out you know just four of them right here okay and then after that as you can see everything is dirty here so I want to clean it all up nicely okay and I'm not gonna take this stuff out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just lubricate these arms okay I'm gonna pop these arms out I'm gonna lubricate them clean them up okay that's gonna be the goal that's what we need to do okay so I cleaned most of this stuff right here and uh, what I want to do is um, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pop these off uh, and I'm gonna lubricate these ball joints on here and also if you want you can remove the uh, you know wiper motor and you can actually uh, lubricate it as well uh, but in my case I'm just gonna do these linkages um, and you know I actually I'm kind of sure that I'm the first one uh, in here I don't think anybody else has ever done this job on this car so I'm glad I'm doing it it's gonna be a good preventive maintenance and the wiper is gonna last forever and it won't cause any issues so that's great to remove the linkages just be very careful and carefully pry on them with a the pry bar just be very careful make sure you're not bending them okay So I'm gonna take my time doing this, okay, and then we can nicely lubricate all this stuff. Okay, there's one of them popped off, and as you can see, this is all dirty, old grease and everything, so we need to go ahead and take care of it. I just removed two 10 millimeter bolts, and I decided to remove this arm out of here. Uh, that way I can easily work with it instead of you know scratching all this area here trying to pry it out so I'm gonna take it out instead okay that's how this looks So to separate these two, you just have to be very careful. Um, the best is to use like a um, wiper arm puller or steering wheel puller, something like that. Um, I don't have that right now, so I'll have to improvise something. But I need to take it off to lubricate that joint right there. Also, it's a good idea to uh, put some ATF down in there because this joint also moves as you can see okay but there's no way to disassemble it so you have to put some ATF down in there okay now this joint is all cleaned up nicely I'm about to put this grease on there and uh, make it make it last a hundred years So with a couple pry bars, I uh, was, you know, uh, counter holding one pry bar and then prying up on this uh, arm and there you go, okay. This is out, I'm about to clean everything and re-grease it and put it back, back together. Everything's cleaned up, time to lubricate all this. Don't forget to install the rubber uh, boot and then some more grease and then we're gonna press these together. You can, uh, you're gonna need like some kind of like pliers to press them together and then that's it. And that's it, with some pliers they're back together. We can go ahead and start installing this on the car. You know, Washington is a crazy state but I'm really grateful that I can do this job and it's a really beautiful day today and sunny usually it's raining like crazy but i'm really happy today is a nice day so i can keep working on this amazing car
Okay, and now you have to press them together. Also use some pliers here, be, be very careful, and then press it together. There you go, just very careful, make sure you don't score the metal anywhere so it doesn't start rusting. Nice, you get to see how the wiper assembly is working. Now it's the fastest speed. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Save old school cars. Bye bye.